Hey, good people of the YTPC, Harriet Herfer. I hope you guys are doing well today. I um, have a little bit of cellaring to do, and um, so I'm going to be doing that. I've got everything set up and ready to go. I've got my lids um, with my tags on them. I got my, my scale ready with my tray, and I got my bag of backy. So. I am ready to go. Um, I did get a um, a nice eight ounce bag of Peace Haven from Esoterica. Uh, I've never opened up a bag of Peace Haven before. I have had the pleasure of enjoying um, a nice size sample from um, a backy buddy Berg. So I know that I really, really like this tobacco. And um, so I think I'm going to just. Uh, Get started and talk a little bit about the tobacco as I as I go. Um, yeah, this is um, kind of exciting for me actually. Let's see what we got. The sample that I had, I think, was a fresh sample. I'm gonna have to contact him and ask him. I'm not 100% sure, but. My gosh. So, this is, I think, six Virginias, is what this is. Six different Virginias. Oh my goodness. Wow. That is a nice mess of tobacco right there. Wow. That just, um, well, you can tell it's it, it's got a lot of lighter lighter Virginias in it. Bring it upstairs so you guys can take a gander. Looks fantastic and it smells smells even better. It has a fruitiness to it and a, like a bright a light bright flavor or flavor a light bright um, smell to it and um, it's really moist in the bag. This is definitely a fresh, <laughs> definitely a fresh bag. So, um, so yeah, it has a nice, fruity, sweet, and uh, something else is mingled in there. Almost like, I know this sounds weird, but almost um, like an olive type. Yeah. I'd say a little olive, like a sweet olive, that doesn't even sound right, but it's, trust me, it's good. Um, I'm drinking OMS coffee, by the way. And I'm going to be right back, I'm going to go get my jars, which I have warming. Be right back. Alrighty, so let's get going on this. So, from what I understand, this, um, this tobacco doesn't get released or it hasn't in the past gotten released very often. So I'm just uh I was just fortunate to get to get a bag. And um I'm gonna cellar it up. I think that um oh man, Let's see look at that. Just that is just a thing of beauty right there. A thing of beauty. But I am going to cellar it up and uh, let it let it marinate and uh, see what we got. It's going to be hard to get it just right. Close enough. Close enough. Oh, I don't have my little. See, and I thought I was all all together. Well, I'll just I'll do it old school. I have one of those little. On those little funnels. So there's two. I'm gonna be able to get get another two in there, and I'm gonna do it too. But this, um, to be totally honest, I am not not a big Virginia lover. Um, you know, I have to say that I have just started enjoying Virginias, and um. I think I'm, I'm I'm ruined for with Virginias because this is so nice. 
so light and um, I mean I could not that I'm going to because I'm not gonna be able to get a hold of it I think very often but if I had it plentifully and you know enough I would I would most definitely smoke this every day I could definitely do that and I do need to put the, the dates on my on my lids too but <clears throat> close enough I've got them down in a warming um, pan with a towel in it so keeping them warm as I go but uh, yeah some of the other Virginias that I've tried um, just have kind of uh, I don't know they've been tongue bitey and I've heard that people say that this really bites too but I didn't find it I didn't find that to be the case for me anyway I found it to be um, a very pleasant smoke. I mean, it was it was pretty mild and um, just enjoyable. Like I said, I could smoke it. I could smoke it all day. So I don't know why. I know esoteric is hard to get a hold of anyway. Some of them drop a lot more often than others, but I'm not sure the reasoning why this one is um, released so infrequently but I don't know maybe they're getting those Virginias going I don't know I don't know what it is if somebody knows please tell me <laughs> I need to know so well I'm gonna go ahead and just measure just for the heck of it just to see if I actually got my eight ounces or not uh, pretty close probably my uh Probably my scale that's not correct. These, um, this is just, um, to me it's an odd looking Virginia too. It has an odd color to it. And, um, of course it's, it's the, uh, their classic, uh, cut, fine shag cut that they do. But, uh, that's alright. I really actually enjoy that because it leaves a nice fine ash at the bottom of the bowl so there you go gee I have some more down here I guess I might have to load up my my pipe I've got my little rocket sitting over there I might have to load that up and and give it a try before I put it in the cellar so all right guys I'm gonna load up a pipe and I'll be right back so it's too windy outside to successfully make a video so I have decided to once again smoke in the lounge of confusion here in Harperville with my Peace Haven. Mm. Peace Haven. Mm, smoking it in my La Roca that um, my sweetie got me last year for Mother's Day, I think it was. And how many women are out there that can say they got a tobacco pipe for Mother's Day? Um, not very many of us out there, I would imagine. Not nearly as many uh, fathers that can say that they got one for Father's Day. So, it's kind of, kind of funny. I never thought of that before. And although I'm not overly qualified to uh, do a tobacco review, especially on, um, on a Virginia, well, I'm going to anyway. And I will tell you that <clears throat> it is, it has a light and bright flavor to it. And um, it's the perfect amount of sweetness. Um, when you first light it up, when I first lit it up, it's not like you're sitting there smoking it with me right now, unless you are, and then if you are, cheers to you. Um, it was bready, a light breadiness to it, fruity. Um, what really comes forward for me is just a nice, light, sweet, you know, it's not overly sweet, it's just the right amount of sweetness, just a nice tobacco flavor, just, sometimes, and I know I'm burning the tobacco, but there are some blends that you just get um, a big punch of burnt tobacco flavor. 
which kind of spoils the, the underlying, you know, nuances of the tobacco. And I don't get that with this at all. I don't know if that made sense at all or not, but it did to me, so that's all I'm going to say. I, I mean, this is probably... I had a small sample and then I just opened this bag that I acquired and it is already in my top five and I don't even really have very many Virginias that I've even tried that I've liked so that's the that's an accomplishment for tobacco for me I'd say the nicotine hit on this is pretty low it um, it doesn't have much of a punch. It would definitely be an all-day smoke. I am using, by the way, a tamper that uh, was gifted to me for Christmas by uh, Ghost Cop. And the maker is Carvin Piper. And he does such a nice job. I mean, look at the, look at the, all the character that character has. He does a really good job. Very talented. I wish I could, I wish I could do something like that. I know better. I know my, I know my limitations. This is an easy tobacco to smoke. It stays lit. Very few relights, if, if at all. Um, uh, nice, fine white ash in the bottom of the bowl, just like other esotericas that I've found. And um, this is very pleasant. I would imagine it goes really well with the OMS coffee that I'm drinking. But I would say that this would go very well with a, a nice tea as well, an iced tea or a hot cup of tea. And as for an alcoholic beverage, I might, I might say that a, an IPA would be good with it. I'm not a big IPA drinker, but um, since this is a, a nice lighter type of tobacco, I imagine the IPA would go well. I actually, when I was younger, I drank a Little King's Cream Ales. I liked the size of the bottles and. It, uh, it wouldn't get warm before I got it drank. And last weekend, um, Hugh and I came across them again. And so I have, a, I have some in the refrigerator. I think it might go really well with that. I'm going to have to, uh, next time I, I light up one of these bowls, when it's a little bit later in the day, I might, uh, I might try it with that. So, one more thing about it is, I know that um, Virginias tend to bite. I haven't, um, you know, I've smoked that sample um, that that Berg sent us. It, it was a nice size sample too. So I've had a I've had a number of bowls of this, um, and I have not gotten tongue bite from it at all. So that's that's another thing that I like about it. So. Very pleasant, nice. It would be nice this summer hotter it gets, I think this is the one that I'm going to grab. I'm going to have to keep one of my tens out of the cellar, I think. I kind of, I want it, I want it to age though. Maybe I'll have to get another, another bag. So we'll see what happens there. But again, I have to say thank you to my backy buddy Berg for sending this up to Herferville because, um, because it's an esoterica and it doesn't drop very often. Um, I probably wouldn't have um, been doing any searches for it. There's nothing worse than searching and trying to find a hard to get tobacco and then you get it, you open it, and you try it and you don't like it. So um, I really appreciate the opportunity to try this. So guys, I'm going to get off of here. I'm gonna go outside and finish the rest of my smoke. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Go out and sub a newbie and I'll catch you later. Yes, smoking taters, I got one more thing to say. Peace.